Hey guys, so I'm back with another empties video, so I hope you're ready to go through my trash. Let's see what I have, because I don't even really know what all is in this bag right now, but it is stuffed and... Okay, so the I first thing I have is a Salus Skincare Blackhead Removal Mask. I had this for a really long time, and I'm pretty sure it's expired, so although I tried it, I think, once, I don't really remember, but I need to get rid of it because... It was good for 12 months, and I've definitely had it longer than that. Also, this is a rose mask that I've had for a really long time. I don't like rose-scented things, and I don't know how long I've had that, so I just need to get rid of that as well. I finished this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day In Shower Styler. It enhances texture and shine for air-dried styles. It's what I have in my hair right now. I'm letting it air dry because it's a lazy Sunday, and I want to. Um, I don't know. It's... This is best for straight to sweat, slightly wavy hair, save time, style in the shower, create beautiful air dried styles. It's nice. It smells good. I'm not sure that cruel, uh, living proof is cruelty free, so I probably won't repurchase it, but it was nice. I have another one too, so whatever. I'm just, I don't feel strong enough one way or another to recommend or not recommend that, so that's that. I had this Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist from Tarte that I recently got, and I really like this sample. It smells like uh, oranges, kind of like mandarin oranges. It's really nice, and I definitely would purchase this again. I thought it was really nice on the skin just to kind of bring everything into uh, a close, I guess you could say. At the end of my makeup, I just kind of like wanted to set it with something that would just take down the powderiness. I don't necessarily think it makes my makeup last longer, but it is nice to take down the powder look. Finish this Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is so nice. I love this product. It smells so good. Um, I've had it for a long time. I didn't think that it being such a, what I thought was a small tub of shampoo it would last that long I kind of went back and forth using this and another shampoo so I think that's why it did last so long you just apply it to wet hair and massage through the scalp and it's supposed to get rid of the dead skin and the excess buildup and I think it did a really nice job so I will definitely have to repurchase that product in the future um this covergirl perfect point plus pencil in espresso was nice but I don't know that I'll repurchase it so it was a really pretty brown shade this part is not the pencil you had to twist it and then the pencil would pop up out out of that it's like a self sharpening thing it says and then has a smudger on the other end I do like it but it is a very um a very soft formula so it does break easily so that was the only downside to that I didn't like how easily it broke sometimes I would twist it up and start going in and it would just break off on me so I didn't love that aspect of it I have a real techniques blending sponge this was the contouring and highlighting blending sponge so I went in on this side with my cream contours and then blended it out with the other side and that's what they make this for I think it is nice they recommend to use it dry but I don't think I would repurchase it because it wasn't the easiest sponge to contour and highlight with I know they have others that they recommend for contouring and highlighting this wasn't my favorite and sometimes it was hard to hold on to such a small sponge that's like weirdly shaped so not my favorite from them I finished the C C and C by Clean and Clear So Wiped Tropical Facial Wipes. Now, right on here it says no animal testing. However, when I looked online, so let me set up the scenario. I went into Ulta. I wanted to buy my Bare Minerals uh, wipes, which I may or may not have in here, but they're my new favorite. And they didn't have them. So last minute, I was just gonna leave without any wipes. But last minute, I saw these, and it says no animal testing. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll just try them. I looked online and there's no confirmation that this definitely does not test on cruel, um, animals. So it's definitely kind of up in the air whether it is cruelty free or not. I did like it. It has like a coconut uh, pineapple smell, which is nice. But again, I'm not totally sure that these are cruelty free, so I can't recommend them at this time. I finished the 
50 premium quilted oval cotton pads from Ulta Beauty. This, these are really nice. I use these, um, well, there's a couple. I use these either to take off my makeup or take off my fingernail polish, but the usually the bigger oval ones is what I use to take off my makeup. I put on my micellar water and just rub off whatever was on my face that day, and they do a really nice job. I also finished these premium pillow cotton pads. These are the square shaped ones and these I had used to take off fingernail polish, toenail polish. Um, and these are also really nice. The Ulta Beauty brand has these. There were a hundred in this bag and they're really nice. I need to repurchase more of those. I also used another same type of thing. It's a Swispers dual ended 100% cotton applicators. There's 80 count in here. These are dual ended. So I recently repurchased, but not the same brand. Just knocked everything over. Um, the dual ended sponges like this. So one side is pointed, one side is more round and they help me with my makeup. If I have a problem, I'll just wipe off like my eyeliner or whatever. And they're really nice. Now these are the Ulta brand ones. When it was at Ulta last time, I couldn't find the Swispers brand, so I don't know if they have them anymore, but I do like the Swispers one and repur would repurchase So this is a product I had to get rid of. This is a Suki Exfoliating Foaming Cleanser. It smells like lemon. I really enjoy it, but I am the one who kind of forgot about it, and it dried out. It's a yellow um, exfoliator. It smells so good, so fresh and lemony. I believe this is for the face and body. I purchased it through Nordstrom Rack. I did receive one of these in a subscription box originally and then repurchased it. And so I do like that. If I ever saw it again on sale, I would repurchase it. I finished up the Savino Therapeutic Shave Gel. I know that Aveeno is not cruelty free, but I my eczema was really crazy and I needed something that would calm it down. So I had to pick up the... Aveeno shave gel. I really do like it, but again, it's not cruelty free, so I kind of don't love that. I did find something though that I thought was interesting. This is the Hask Coconut Oil Bath and Body Foaming Body Wash, and I never saw this before, but I did at Walmart one time. I was like, oh, what is that? And I picked it up. I really liked it. It smells really good of coconut, and you could use this as shave gel because it does come out as a foam. So I think if I don't find anything else I'll pick this up and Last use product, that I have the Bath & Body Works body scrub in spiced pumpkin cider. My sister got me this for Christmas and although my family knows that I don't use cruelty free products they continue to buy me products that are tested on animals so there's that. I did like this it has a waxy texture to it though so it's not the type of um, scrub that you would use before you self tan because it would leave that waxy residue which can be hydrating for your skin though. So it's give and take, whatever you like. It was nice, but I won't repurchase it. This Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. This made me so mad. So it has balls in there that kind of mix up the formula, but every time I would use this, it would leak and it would leave a residue on my uh, dresser or wherever I would have it. So it was so annoying. I like the spray itself. It set my makeup nice. It felt really good on the skin. However, if it's going to leak like that, then no. But I think there was a problem with this little bottle. So I'm going to try it again in the future and see what I think. But I definitely would repurchase that little setting spray. And the CoverGirl Exhibitionist uh, Mascara. I tried that. This is their newest one. I did pick up the waterproof, but... The same thing that happens with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara happens with this. I am allergic to it. I Even though I take it off, I wake up the next day, my eyes are all red, and they have the little things on them, and it's just not a good time. It makes my eyes feel really dry when I wear it, so unfortunately, that one didn't work out for me. I have a couple sponges. I have a Real Technique sponge. We all know that I love this one. And I have a mini Real Techniques one, which we all know that I love for the under eye because I like how it's contoured to just fit right there. So those two, love, will repurchase them. This one came from Ulta. I decided to pick up one of their sponges to try it because what the heck, why not? 
I'm always trying to find new sponges that are cheap that will do the same kind of thing as the Beauty Blender. I like the Real Technique one. This one I didn't love. It is very stiff even when you um, have it wet. It doesn't it doesn't puff up a lot. It just stays really firm and you feel like you're pounding on your skin when you're using it. I don't like that and won't repurchase that. I'm also getting rid of this Ulta Mineral Setting Powder. This came with some sort of kit I purchased, but it is very pink toned. I don't know if you can see that, but also that was a mess. So I don't know why I opened that, <laughs> but it's very pink toned when I put it on my skin and just had this rosy glow to it. And I was like, this is not for my skin tone at all. Nope, gotta get All right, I have that. some skincare products. First is the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Moisturizer. This I didn't really like. Yeah, I don't know if that brand is cruelty-free. I'd have to look into it. This, it smelled really bad. It was like, um, there's a Murad product that smells like this too, where it's just like, should I be putting this on my skin? Cause I almost feel like it smells like fingernail polish remover or something. And I just really do not like it. I mean, the actual product was hydrating, but I don't know that I trust it enough to, to use it all the time. Then I have a yes to tomatoes, detoxifying charcoal bubbling paper mask. I used this this morning and I really do enjoy it. The smell of this was so nice. I'm still trying to figure out what it is. But it is really, really nice. It bubbles up. It left my skin feeling hydrated, not dry at all. I really enjoy that and would purchase that again. Then I also had a yes to cucumber soothing for sensitive skin peel off mask. This one I wasn't as big of a fan of. It's co um, not coconut. It's cucumber, which I don't love, love cucumber scented things. Um, and as far as peel off, it's one of those things again where like I could peel off certain big sections, but the other ones I had to wipe off. And it did leave my skin feeling soothing, so I guess it did work. It did do what it said it was going to do, but at the end of the day, I wasn't love loving it. Then I had the Patchology Flash Patch Illuminating Eye Gels. Ooh, I really like these. So they come in a little packet. I don't know if I have one in here. I thought I did. Anyways, they come in a little packet and you have the two eye gels and you they're this shape. You peel them off and put them under your eyes for five minutes and they're just so cooling, hydrating, uh, just feels so nice and fresh on the skin and I really love these. I will definitely repurchase these because uh, Patchology is cruelty free. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to my list. I tried the Ola Henriksen Three Little Wonders, Seven Day Transformation. I did do this for seven days. Didn't see a huge difference in my skin, but I liked it. So there's a True Serum, which is a collagen boosted uh, C complex, vitamin C complex. And then there's the Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. And then your nighttime is, again, the Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer, but the Invigorating Night transformation gel with an AHA complex. So the true serum is the vitamin C. It's supposed to help brighten and firm and infuse skin with potent antioxidants. Uh, the night transformation, which is the AHA, is supposed to even tone and smooth skin texture, also to refine the skin. And then you have the moisturizer, which hydrates, evens tone, smooths texture, I liked it, but I don't think I need to run out and get this. I like my uh, Drunk Elephant products probably more than this. So it was nice to try, but I don't need to go out and purchase this right now. And he is cruelty free, so that's nice. I had another face mask. This is Uncle Bud's Got Hemp Belize Seaweed and Hemp Seed Oil Detoxifying Face Mask. Deep Cleansing, Revitalize, Hydrate for All Skin Types, and it has a sweet agave nectar. Um, I liked the scent of this. It was just kind of like, um, I don't really know. I guess it was a sweet agave nectar scent, but the really pushing like, you know, the hemp, but it was really nice. It did detoxify. It left my skin feeling smooth and I would repurchase this because I love a, 
uh, clay mask, and that's what this was, so I did enjoy that product a lot. I tried the Farsali Unicorn Essence Antioxidant Serum, which I've never tried any of the Farsali products until this one. I picked it up at Sephora for my birthday. It comes out, it's like a pink uh, color, and it comes in this dropper. I love the scent of this. It's so sweet, and it just reminds me of, like, candy. I can't wait to purchase a full size because I really do love this. And I want to try more of the Farsali products. Um, not really sure about the rose one because I don't like rose-scented things, but I might just try a little one of that because they do have the travel size in that, too. I'm most curious to try the Volcanic So I finished one. this self-tanner from Sandra Pays. This is the Classic Bronzing Mousse. This was really nice. I picked this one up at Marshall's for $16.99, and I love this. I just repurchased one at Ulta, and it was full price, which was like 40 bucks. which <laughs> Marshall's needs to stock up on this so I can stock up because I'm tired of buying it at full price. Just putting that out there, Marshall's. TJ Maxx, if you're listening. Um, this is one of my favorite self-tanners, though. It's what I have on my skin right now, and it does add a nice, healthy-looking glow comes out dark uh, you can probably see it in the cap has that dark bronzer to indicate where you're putting it but then that does go off so when you put it on it's darker than it will be once you rinse it off it's a really nice color I do enjoy it and will so I have that. an Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream this was in the water scent this is not tested on animals and I received this as a free sample from something that I purchased. It's nice. It reminds me of something like my grandma used to wear. It has that kind of different scent to it. Almost like an Olay or something. It is really nice. I probably wouldn't repurchase it right now though because I do have a lot of lotion that I'm going through. And then this was an EcoFresh Natural Soothing Body Lotion that I picked up in a hotel that I stayed in. It was really nice. I doubt that you can purchase this anywhere and I don't know if it's cruelty free but it says on the back that it's uh oh it does say cruelty paraben free designed in Australia environmentally conscious it has a scent of like uh plants like a plant type scent to it so there's that I finished this Schmidt's charcoal and magnesium deodorant I love this this scent is really nice so I would repurchase that I purchased this I believe at Marshall's I think they have this scent I really enjoyed that so I'd pick up another one of those uh this mascara melt off from Too Faced I obviously I, for waterproof mascara this is really nice so it has a little brush and you just put this on your eyelashes you just brush it on leave it on for couple minutes two to three minutes I think and then just wipe off your mascara it comes off really well it's a cleansing oil I know a lot of people were like why well, couldn't I just use another cleansing oil I purchased this one I recently saw a little sample sizes at Marshall's so I picked those up um, but I would repurchase a full size because it is really really nice then I had a mascara sample from Clinique which is a high impact mascara in black Clinique's not cruelty free so I wouldn't repurchase it and it made my eyes have that allergic reaction so was not a fan of that one either. I also had this Max Volume Waterproof from Wet n Wild and I really enjoy this one. It is one of my favorites from them. I just moved it on my collection for others but the wand's kind of funky but I really enjoy this. It's nice for a drugstore. Cheap mascara if you're in a hurry you can't find anything this is a good one. Even if you are not in a hurry and you just want a cheap uh, drugstore mascara, that's a nice one. Also, this Revolution Eyeshadow Primer. wasn't a huge fan of this. It is very shimmery. It has kind of like a champagne-y gold texture to it. It's just kind of hard to blend out and hard to work with, so I wasn't a huge fan of that one. And I have this... LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Peach Corrector. This was a little bit dark for my skin, so I'm moving that out of my collection. Wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, the NYX Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. It's what I have in my eyebrows today, and it's one of my favorites. It's one of those little skinny pencils. It has a spoolie on the other end. It's really nice. I've repurchased it a lot, so uh, definitely will keep repurchasing that. 
this dagger liner from uh, Kat Von D in the shade Trooper Black. This is really nice, and I can't wait to purchase this again. So it has an angled tip, unlike the, um, the other liners that she has with a pointed tip. I really enjoy this one. It's easy to make a wing with this. And like I said, if this is the dagger liner. I can't wait to repurchase that. Last thing I have is this Bite Sweet Treats Party Prep Agave Lip Care Set. So it comes in a little bottle like this. I got this holiday time. It came with the lip mask sample, a lip scrub sample, and then the agave lip balm, which I finished. So that's what this is. It was a nice little sample size of it. I would put it on every night before bed and I finished it up and I really, really enjoyed that. Would buy a full size of that. So I hope you guys enjoy going through my trash. I have a mess to clean up now, uh, but I enjoy sharing these videos with you. So let me know if I should keep making them, if you like them. If not, I'll just throw my trash in the trash and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.